yeah. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves? Yeah, I just hit up my key for the tools. Yeah, ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been winning for so long, it's hard to lose. Deal, be my source, uh, Christian, like the York. Yeah, I can't stop. There's that wonderful intro that we all love so much. This is a, a rare occurrence over here on the MCU's Bleeding Edge YouTube channel and podcast. Cybernetic Shark, my co-host, and myself, Jeff S. True Knowledge, are actually in the house to do a trailer reaction, which we uh, really enjoy doing. We just uh, don't get that many opportunities to do. So, Cyber, my friend, it is wonderful to see you again. Lovely to see you too, sir. Good to be recording with you, as always. As always. And... So, folks, as always, here are the MCU's Bleeding Edge YouTube channel and podcast. We appreciate your support. So if you'd love to subscribe, if you like the content we make, we appreciate it. And uh, besides that, I'm going to go ahead and play the Thor 4, uh, I guess, teaser trailer and whatnot and everything for the first time. Cyber seen it once. And, yeah. Um, well, you know what? Shit. Hold on, Cyber. You might, have, you, might have to, you might have to tell some jokes or whatever and kill some time for a minute. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just knock, kidding. Knock, knock. Who's just, there? Orange. Just, orange who? Orange you glad? Nice. Nice. Way to, way to fill in for me there. No, I just um, I just have to really quick pull this up on YouTube and screenshot it. Because I, I forgot what I was doing there for a minute with StreamYard. Ooh. Sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties happen. Um, even though we're professionals. There we go. Now I got it. These hands were once used for battle. Now they're but humble tools for peace. I need to figure out exactly who I am. Choose my own path. Live in the moment. My superheroing days are over. Feel lost? Just look into the eyes of the people that you love. <laughs> Not me. What? Just listening. Okay, well, that uh, that right there, that um, that ending scene with uh Jane Foster as Mighty Thor, look, she looks, she actually looked pretty cut. She did get cut for the uh for this film. She, they had her work out and everything and do a regiment just like a lot of the Marvel superheroes do. I would hope so. I mean, yeah. cause she's she's pretty thin. Um, yeah. In general, you know. But so, what do you think, Cyber? What, what's your What are your first thoughts on the, on the the teaser trailer? My first thoughts on this. This is actually the first trailer I saw from Marvel that actually I wasn't like super pumped for. Actually, um, I don't know if it's because it's just a teaser or if it it was the song. I absolutely love you know Guns N' Roses. I love Sweet Child of Mine. I just don't feel it fit the the trailer itself. So I feel that kind of played it down for me. But overall, it had it had some good stuff. I saw some good scenes. I thought, and overall, I thought it was a it. I would give it a you know a like five out of ten for a for a first trailer. Oof, five out of ten. Did you hear that, Marvel Studios? Did you hear that, Kevin Feige? <laughs> oh man, that's not good. When Cybernetic Shark is dropping a five out of ten on that shit, then at that point, man, you know, no, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it'll get better, right? Uh, That's okay. what I say because it's just a teaser, and I'm hoping that like I mean what they showed in it, there was some good stuff, but I just felt it was a little too like sappy, 
it, was, it, it, it didn't did it, feel did it seem convoluted to you a little bit like there was no real like core message to it or anything like that or theme, a little really? bit yeah i feel a little bit it was and that's another reason i was like this is not your doesn't feel like your typical marvel teaser trailer as most trailers are so i thought it was kind of different for a marvel trailer and so that's why i'm giving it a five out of ten simply for the fact that it just it's different that song i just don't feel fits into that into that little trailer itself like i would have thought of a little more like a thunderstruck song or or something else like a little bit more but i i guess i they used that because they were trying to go for more of that sappier feeling i feel is what they were trying to go for because you know thor is trying to find his you know his what he's supposed to do with his life and and i'm just like is that really where we're going here with thor i'm like I mean, I hope it's more than that because, I mean, Thor is a badass and I need to see Thor kick some butt. <laughs> and where's Gore, too? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where's Gore? You know, uh, where's Christian Bale? Did they? I didn't see him in there, did you? No. The no. only person, the only person, if you'll notice, it's Russell Crowe's Zeus. Yes, yes that's it. Um, Yeah, I, I, I did notice that. Um, There was very little, uh, what's her name? Also, um, Valkyrie? Uh, Valkyrie, yes. There was very little of her in the trailer. There was a lot of the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff in there, which I'm, yeah. not, I'm not really sure how big of a component in the film that's really going to be. Um, and not very much. We don't see much of Jane Foster or Mighty Thor, just that like end scene there, you know, which was probably, for me, that was the highlight of the trailer. Okay. You know, was that, like, pretty much, you know. I wasn't sure what was going on with the music there in the beginning. I was expecting the same thing as you, like some ACDC or, like, some... Um, some Led Zeppelin or something like that or whatever. I thought that's where it was going. Then it shifted into Sweet Child of Mine, and I was like, ah, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I guess that, you know, kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? But I mean, um, I think Welcome to the Jungle would have been a better song. Yeah. <laughs> you um, know, for a, if they're going to go with a Guns N' Roses song. I mean, we can watch it again. I just, you know, as, as of right now, I wouldn't go as far as to give it a 5 out of 10, but I'll tell you what, I probably wouldn't go any higher than like a 6, you know? That's where I'm at. Maybe like okay. a 6, maybe I could give it a 6.25 just to be nice. Okay. Um, And be optimistic and whatnot, but that's about as high as I can go. Yeah, I, I, I'd say, yeah, to give it, to be optimistic, 6.5 I would give it. That's That might even be too far. Oh. <laughs> Six point two five and six. I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, that might, you might be overextending yourself a little bit there, Simon. I'll, I'll just go even and be six. You be six point two five. I'll be six. I think, I think six is probably the a fair evaluation. But well, you never know. Maybe, maybe by playing it again or whatever, you know, maybe I'll, I'll have a different feel from it. We'll have to yep. see. Back to the screenshot, folks. <laughs> These hands were once used for battle. Now they're but humble tools for peace. I need to figure out exactly who I am. I want to choose my own path. Live in the moment. Superheroing days are over. Remember what I told you. You ever feel lost? Just look into the eyes of the people that you love. me what just listening <laughs> yeah i guess it's just really i guess it's just it's just cool in general to see anybody but thor like with the hammer stream 80 yeah, yep. that's that's what it is. I think that's why I like it so much. That part of the trailer or whatever. 
Yeah. It's, it's just because of that same thing, like Steve, when Steve Rogers picked it up. You know what I mean? It's just weird. It's just interesting to see somebody else other than Thor Holt pick up that hammer. Yeah. It is. There's something like, you know. And plus, the, her superhero stance right there, too, was fucking excellent. Yep. You know? Like, that mm -hmm. was a, that was like that was almost as good as Black Widow's. Yeah. You know? And in, like, the Black Widow film, uh, when she drops on that, like, scan, uh, that um, scaffolding or whatever and whatnot mm -hmm. and everything on one knee, that was one of the best superhero stances I've ever seen. Yeah, most definitely. I, I was, I even threw it out there when I watched this last night with the wife. Uh, what if this Jane Foster is actually a variant? From an, one of the multiverses. Oh, you know, I mean, again, uh, you never know. I mean, anything's possible. I just don't know. I don't know how far they're going to go with this multiverse stuff. I don't know how far. I don't know how how much they want to allow it infect or connect. I guess is a better word into the rest of the MCU beyond Doctor Strange two and the multiverse of madness. Like, is that you know what I'm saying? It, is that kind of like how how they're like are they going to wrap it up and tighten it up there? You know I don't I mean? think and so. I, I think we'll be seeing the multiverse for a while because we're going to be seeing the multiverse in Ant Man, Quantum Medium. So ha it's having to do with Kang. So I feel the next couple of phases is going to be a lot about the multiverse. So that's why I threw it out there saying I thought that maybe this might be a variant of Jane because one. The Jane that we know from the last time we saw her in Dark uh, Thor The Dark World, she's a scientist. She's not the type to want to be like a superhero. And this chick looks like she's like knows her crap and knows what to do. And she's like butched out. She's beeped out. She's like knocking butts and stuff like that. So I feel that this is a different Jane Foster than the Jane Foster we knew from the last time we saw her in Dark World. So I think that this possibly could be a variant from another multiversal dimension. And I think that's going to play into what happens in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, I feel. Well, in the comic books, she becomes the Mighty Thor um, because she has cancer. Um, um, like, that's, 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 it's connected to her having cancer. You know what I okay. mean? Um, and right at that same time that she, becomes, she gets cancer, she also becomes the Mighty Thor essentially you know what i mean at the same time mm -hmm. and like every time she becomes the mighty thor it like makes her sicker you know what i'm saying like she gets sicker every time you know what i'm saying like that's the flip side of her becoming the mighty thor you know what i mean mm. i can't remember exactly how that storyline played out in the comics to tell you the truth i can't remember um but i'm wondering if they're going to have that same type of gist going on in the in the movie mm. and um again you know this is taiki watiti right so like if he i mean with what he did with ragnarok I I I have to believe that like the next when they come out with another trailer it'll be better than this. Oh yeah, you know when we get our first like full trailer, I feel it'll be. Yeah, because I think I think once they throw Gore the God Butcher in there and whatnot and everything, that will be like a game changer, you know. Yeah, most definitely. I feel like um like he's got the potential to be like a real badass MCU villain, most which definitely. which we could use one, you know, like it, it it wouldn't be so it wouldn't be so bad to have one like that to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, I guess for me, I mean, I, I, my last thoughts on the trailer overall would just be, it was good to see the Guardians of the Galaxy again, together. You know, like um, without, of course, um, uh, what's her name? Um, why do I have Gamora with, without Gamora? Uh, but everybody else was there. With Nebula was there, which was nice to see. You know, I was kind of the first time I saw, I couldn't tell if she was there or not. Um. Was Rocket there? I didn't notice him, but I believe I've seen a still of that, of that air that scene, and I swear I saw the Rocket in the in the actual picture. Yeah, um, that's a, that's that was the only one, one I couldn't really tell was whether Rocket was there or not. You know, I saw Groot, um, mm -hmm. and Drax, um, and Mantis. Yeah, I think Rocket is underneath Groot, I think, okay. is where he actually is. And he's kind of hiding out there, so you really can't. It, unless you're really paying attention, I don't think you can notice him. I'm t I, I, think, I think that, like, the beginning, I think most of this comes from probably the first, the first part of the film. Me too. You know, that's what I think this is. I think this is basically all based off of, like, the first, like, 30 minutes or whatever, or the first 35 minutes of the movie. 
Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. You know? I, I feel that's kind of been MCU's formula the last few trailers because if you like Spider Man No Way Home, majority of that trailer was the first like half hour to an hour. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I mean, you you got any final thoughts on this trailer? Uh, my final thoughts: I absolutely love the scene where it shows you know him getting back into shape. I'm glad I'm glad we get to see him in the fat suit. Oh, again. the hat! The hat was great. The baseball cap. The, yeah, yep. the hat. Hat was hilarious. Um, that scene where he, like, Star Lord is saying, "Look into the eyes of the people that you love." That is absolutely hilarious. Um, I can see that they're going to have that great humor again, just like they had in Ragnarok. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to this movie. Just this is not my favorite trailer of, of teaser trailers I've seen uh, for Marvel. I was just was really shocked. I thought it would have been a little more better than you know having to wait almost two months prior three months prior to it coming out. So I was just expecting a little more from the trailer, but other, overall I thought it was a decent trailer. I give it a six and uh, yeah, I, th I can't wait to see it. I agree with you hundred percent on that one. I honestly thought when I was sitting here, like when I was getting ready to get, to get, get in with you on the studio and whatnot and, and do the reaction, I was thinking about it and I was like, this is going to be great. Like um, Thor four trailers is, is here. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be fucking awesome. You know, and, like, we've got Doctor Strange 2 coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to have some real nice continue, you know, continuity or whatever, you know, with, with the MCU films again for the year. Even though we're only getting three, at least we're having, we're going to have, like, a, a three to work with. Yep. And we know they're coming out, you know what I mean? Like, it, yep. it, like, the, like they're set. So, mm -hmm. you know, like, it, it, so I'm kind of surprised myself um, that they didn't give us more to work with <laughs> than that. Um, but, like you said, um... We'll be optimistic and hope that the next one gives us more to work with and we can give it a better rating. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> so beyond that, folks, uh, for Cybernetic Shark, this is Jeff S. We're the co-host of the MCU's Bleeding Edge YouTube channel and podcast. And we love all of you. We love the fandom. And uh, peace out. We'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah, look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves, yeah, I just hit a mic key for the tools, yeah, ain't no capping, I'ma tell the truth, I've been winning for so long, it's hard to lose, okay, yeah, yeah.